perfect. It looks like uh, what company is Brian from in Fort Myers? Rocco would like to know what company Brian is from from in Fort Myers. Let me just check up here. Uh, B Brilliant Marketing. It's a marketing company. Oh, looks like we already have some questions here too. You, will you pro provide a record of the webinar later on? You bet we will. Um, I believe we're also going to be uh, be live today as well on, on Facebook. Um, so uh, when we get started, oh, there we go. Um, I'm going to, I'll share that, Brian, with the, with the group. Um, Brian just wanted you to post, here's his company, um, if you're interested in the marketing, um, Rocco. Look at that. We go, we're, we're even introducing people to each other and getting other people more business. Mike from Toronto. I run a recording studio and looking to integrate auto close with sales to capture new leads. I'm looking for here about auto close and sales plan to integrate with each other. That's a great question, Mike. Um, also, I am actually in Toronto as we speak right now. Um, I'm at my office uh, at Richmond and Church. So I'm, um, I'm downtown Toronto as we speak um, doing this, uh, this webinar. To answer uh, Rocco's question, yes, we will start at uh, 11 a.m. I see that Sean is uh, checking out his Facebook. We'll all join in for that. <laughs> We're trying to connect the, the Facebook Live, so we need to start in five minutes. Ah, okay, cool. We're live on Facebook, it seems. Okay, we're just getting the uh, the Facebook Live um, all set up here. Zoom says it's set up, but uh, I know I'm not sure what you're seeing on your side. Yeah, we're sticking it. It's actually our, my my first time doing the Facebook Live with Zoom. So, oh, it says we are live on Facebook. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna get started. I'd say another four or five minutes just to give a few people that might not be um, on time, 
Um, Cal says, I've not yet purchased AutoClose because I haven't seen the need when I already have sales flare. Uh, I've got 24 hours to make a decision. Well, we're going to show you some differentiating stuff today here, Cal, um, between AutoClose and sales flare um, and how we are, are, are very different. To Kel's question, uh, Kel ask, is asking uh, whether we'll show you how to integrate. Uh, that is uh, on our agenda, actually. Uh, so it's certainly something we'll talk about. Uh, Michael is saying, uh, thanks for making this product. Your support is really good. Are you talking to um, AutoClose or Salesflare, Michael? Michael is, uh, I believe, a client of AutoClose. I know that. I've spoken to Michael. so. Um, hopefully after today, he also uses Salesflare. Let me see what I use a Salesflare as well. I can see that. Mike, oh, there you go. Okay, we're going to get started in about uh, two, let's say two more minutes. We'll get started. Michael is also using Salesflare, so seems like he's set. Oh, since last week, so really curious to, oh, perfect. Craig is looking forward to looking about sales for, can I? <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot get it on AppSumo anymore, Craig. Uh, we've been on AppSumo last year, um, and that's over now. But uh, today, uh, I, I know you're gonna have some special offer for everyone that's here today, so. Um, it'll it will yeah. be, it'll be a, a very special offer we'll be giving at the end. Yes, we will. Uh, it will come at the end, Craig. So. But that means you have to stay for the presentation today. <laughs> <laughs> um, it looks like we have some other here. Uh, we Rocco, we signed up for Salesforce, but don't know what auto close is. A brief description. We'll go through that. I'll do a quick introduction um, as well. Um, more on what um, what 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 AutoClose does. Michael fired Soho and Scott Salesflare. Good awesome. job, good pick. How long is the presentation? Um, you know, I usually like to keep it under thirty minutes. Uh, um, we're going to try and keep it, um, you know, short and sweet for you guys. Uh, we will have a lot of answering a lot of questions throughout, um, but I think twenty thirty minutes is what we're, we're aiming for, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Of course, uh, we will we will offer the we will show the offers before the questions. Uh, so it's up to you whether you are staying for the questions or not. Yeah. I'm slammed today. Okay, perfect. <laughs> what time are we at here? Eleven. We're all slammed. Let's go. We, let's wait one more minute, and then we're going to get started. Um, okay. Let me A uh, question from Boyd already while we're waiting um, about autoclose and cold email. Should I be sending from my own domain in G Suite or a throwaway domain? I would say the best idea is if if you're uh, if you're let's say sending unsolicited emails, I would certainly do that from a an, another domain. Um, and preferably a domain that is uh, well if it's G Suite it's 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 the same. Uh, but that's that's on another IP address um, because yeah that's just how um, spam filters work. Uh, but I would in general not uh, recommend uh, sending uh, to unsolicited emails. Let's see, not to to unsolicited. Should I not be using my main domain? Asks Michael. Uh, no, uh, if you. Uh, if you intend on um, on having uh, sending emails that people might sometimes click uh, mark a spam on, then I would not do that. 
Okay, we are going to get started. Um, perfect. Okay, welcome everyone to today's uh, webinar. Um, just a few housekeeping um, before we get started. We do have um, both myself and Jerome here today um, for, the, for the webinar. Um, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please ask in either the Q&A or the chat box. Um, we'll try to answer them live um, right here throughout the presentation if we see them come up. We also have um, Ved from the auto close team here who will also be one of the panelists. He will also be going through and try to answer questions live um, throughout the presentation today. We have uh, a lot, a lot of people here um, on this presentation, so it's going to be, it's definitely going to be a good one. So first I'm going to introduce myself. Um, uh, I'm, you know, Sean Finder, the CEO of AutoClose. Uh, I've been around in sales for about 18 years. Um, this is my third company I've founded and started. Um, you know, uh, my other company, Exchange Leads, works with um, some of the biggest and highest uh, rated B2B companies in the U.S., the Microsofts, um, Rogers, Verizons, PayPal, Shopify, etc. cetera. Uh, we built AutoClose about five and a half, six months ago, which allows um, all of our clients to automate their outreach, but also dip into our database of millions of contacts for a more personalized outreach and to automate their follow-ups. Um, on the right-hand side, you'll see my phone number um, as, as well as my email address. Reach out to me with any questions, my LinkedIn, and my auto close. And I am here today with someone very special, the CEO of Salesflare, um, and I'm going to let him introduce himself right now. So uh, I'm Irun uh, of Salesflare, I'm one of the co-founders. Um, we uh, offer a, a simple and powerful CRM, so most CRMs you'll use are either oversimplified, although there's not a lot of those, uh, or either really complicated. Uh, so what we offer with Salesflare is a CRM that automates a lot of the work you would usually have to do in a CRM. Uh, it automates a lot of data input mostly, but also on top of that, there's a whole automation layer that we're, that we're building out. Um, and basically it makes it so much easier to manage your customers um, in an in an in an efficient way, um, which makes it the perfect uh, combination with with a platform like AutoClose that is also built on data and automation. Um, you can also contact me through the the contact details that you find on the right. Um, follow us on uh, on Twitter. Connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, and we can take the conversation from there. If you have any product questions, I would suggest to use support at salesflare.com. Uh, then it immediately comes in the right place. Perfect, thank you. Um, so I want to quickly go through the agenda today. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to start off by kind of giving a little bit of history on sales automation and how we've got here, you know, as a society. Um, and then um, both both of us are going to go through, um, you know, kind of answer these four questions. Um, you know, how to create hot leads with a sales outreach tool. Um, you know, what you need to do inside the sales automation of AutoClose, um, how to use a CRM to go from lead to deal, you know, how should the, the flow work between the sales outreach tool and CRM, and that's something that we'll go through, and then, you know, what data should be synced and when, and that's something um, your own will be, will be talking about today. At the end of the presentation, we will have a special offer for everybody, um, and that will be for all Salesflare and AutoClo potential uh, users. If you're not using one of our platforms, um, by the end of today, I hope you will sign up with us. So just to start off, I wanna kind of talk about, you know, how society's change and the, and, the, and the shift in the sales process. Um, as many of you guys probably know, you know, 15, maybe even 10 years ago, um, you know, door knocking was, was the number one way to get to make a sale. Um, it went from door knocking, it slowly moved to say individual prospecting um, and moved to cold calling. Um, and then inbound marketing, you know, when I was a VP of sales for a company, inbound marketing was, was very big. And now what it's come to is, you know, sales automation, the personalized outreach um, and how to connect that sales automation to your CRM so that you can 
ideally convert that that lead into a sale, um, but also you know follow up and have different tasks and activity all in one place so you can have full visibility of that lead and obviously convert that into what every salesperson wants to do and that is make money. So just a little bit of history I want to talk to you guys about, you know, companies planning to invest in sales automation, 71%. So in the next two years, if you don't have sales automation, you are missing the boat. It's just like digital marketing and inbound marketing was, you know, five, seven years ago, sales automation is here to stay. So it's something you want to invest in. It's something you want to integrate with your CRM today or else you'll be missing out. So before I get started, I'd love to ask the audience and just in the chat box, if you guys can put, I like to make all my presentations um, very, um, very interactive. Um, how many follow-ups do you typically do in a cadence or in um, your follow-up sequence? Michael Morris, 13. Good job. Three. Eight plus, as many as 10. Mitch, seven. Great. Five for Renee. Okay, um, Tony, I see you want me to reshow the last slide. You know, because everyone's on, a, on, a, on kind of a time restraint today, we will show you. I'll send a recording of this presentation to you after the, the webinar. But ideally what you want to do is the, the number of touches actually depends on if it's a cold, cold lead or a warm lead. So a warm lead might be three to five. A cold lead might be eight to 12. So depending on where you put that lead in that, in that line right there, it will different. I find eight to 12 works for cold lead because especially if you're trying to reach out to a C level, um, like myself or, or your own, um, it could take eight to 12 because they're traveling, visiting clients. Um, we're busy on webinars like this. So always make sure you have that follow up process in place um, and try and hit that eight to 12 um, in your cold email. Your own, what, what do you find with yourself, when you're following up with, with bigger prospects, how many follow-ups do you typically do? Yeah, uh, I must say we, we don't do bigger prospects very often. We, uh, we do everything based on um, inbound marketing right now with Salesflare. Okay. Uh, but when I used to do sales before, I would say something like that is, uh, is certainly realistic, yeah. Perfect, okay. And it looks like a lot of the, the, the audience today um, is, is in that range. We have some that are at five, some that are at two or three. I would try and bump that up, and that's something that definitely um, you can you can automate inside auto close and then sync with 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 your with your CRM like a Salesforce. So, you know, before we get started in those questions, I want to know, you know how much of your day do you actually spend selling? Do you know that a sales automation tool can automate sixty six percent of your day? Therefore, you're writing follow up emails, you're prospecting, you're researching the tools scheduling those meetings, you know, trading, reading up on industry news, you can actually automate that. So saving that 66%, so that 4.5, five hours per day, you can save by implementing a strategy that, in, that has both your CRM and your sales automation. So this is a, this is a very good graph that um, I like to show during my presentations because it shows that automating is everything nowadays. If you can't automate, you're not going to be able to keep up. So Make sure that you are automating these tasks that you can um, in your future. So, oh. so before we get started, what if I told you that between a CRM and your sales automation, you can automate email campaigns, customize your targeting, sales league segmentation, you could have smart sending, you could have a CRM integration with a sales flare, email templates, all the stuff that I'm showing you right here with a Gmail integration, personalized outreach and team management. So Craig said, I like to save those hours applied on the high value closing. Great. We call closing with a K here, but um, I agree with you. So the future of sales automation is here and I'd like to now, you know, obviously get in, into our, our presentation.
So the first question I have for the audience right now is, who has both a sales automation platform and a CRM? If you have one, let us know which one you have. If you have both, please say both. Renee has both, great, both. Michael has a CRM only, Craig a CRM only. Um, both, both, great. Renee has sales flair, insightly and auto close. Oh wow, a lot of people coming, both as of yesterday. That's great. It looks like, oh, Scott's got auto close and sales flare. HubSpot, Intercom, Brian, sales flare. That, that's great. Thank you, AppSumo. Um, Lemless and sales flare. Great. Great. Eugene. Wow, great turnout. So, so that's great. It looks like we have a lot of people that are using both. Now, if you don't have both, you want to make sure in your tool bucket you have both. Um, you, know, you know, a CRM is, 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 you know, is perfectly parallel with a sales automation because you want to be able to sync, which we're going to talk about in, in a few minutes, how to sync both to make it make you save more time. So the first question um, I'm going to answer is how to create hot leads with a sales outreach tool. So I have five tips I'm going to give you guys today on how to create hot leads with a sales outreach tool. The first is to create a cadence. You want to create a repeatable, measurable, and scalable process for, for your outbound prospecting, okay? Now, you might want to use a combination of calls, emails, and social media touches, which is why you need to have that Salesflare CRM. Because there you can track and say, okay, when are you calling? You know, what emails are you tracking, et cetera? And have your social media all in one place. Number two, minimize the use of templates. The key to a, to an auto, to a follow up process is to have a killer subject line. So make it all about the prospect, enticing them enough to open that email. Now, a tip I'll give you on subject line is you want to make your subject line usually three to five words max. And the reason why is most people, I think it's 75% of people open emails on their mobile device. If you're opening on your mobile device, you only get to see three to five words. So everything after those five words, your prospect is not even seeing. So make sure that you start with a killer subject line. And what I like to do in my, you know, eighth or ninth follow-up is, you know, did I fall through the cracks? Should I stay or should I go? Subject lines like that that makes them make them either give you a yes or no. Because if you're going to follow up, the whole end goal is to get that reply, sync that to your CRM, and make sure it's all in front of you. Number three, you have to have an email intelligence tool. Auto close. If you don't have an auto close, you need to have an auto close to track your activities such as views, clicks, replies, and, and that's an integral on staying on top of your prospects and measure the success of your emails. Number four is A-B test. But don't A-B test everything. I would more A-B testing your subject lines. Um, and that's the most important thing to be A-B testing. And number five, you want to connect everything to a CRM like Salesflare, which is going to bring me to question two, and I'll let uh, you take over. Yeah, so... You've used auto close. Uh, you've created a hot lead, which is awesome, um, and that means it's uh, that lead. It, it has momentum, uh, and you can't lose that momentum. You need to hold on to that momentum. Uh, it's important that you pick up immediately that you keep the conversation going. So, first thing you will you will want to do is to create the lead in your CRM so you can like diligently track it. Um, you can either do this manually uh, when a pro prospect sends you an email. If you're using Salesflare, we have this very handy sidebar for Outlook and Gmail uh, that enables you to create this account with one click. Uh, it'll suggest you uh, the contact as well after that and ask you whether you like an opportunity as well. If you're using another CRM or you don't use Salesflare with the Gmail or Outlook sidebar, uh, you can also head into the CRM and create all the necessary, of course. Alternatively, um, you could automate this between your prospecting tool and your CRM um, between auto close. Um, Michael is asking whether I can share the screen. 
we're currently not set up for that, uh, but I can send you a, a list of videos afterwards um, that you could look at. Uh, Carrie has made some awesome videos uh, that show you all these things as well. So what was I saying? Um, that you could also automate this between your prospecting tool and your CRM. Um, so you can currently do it with Zapier between AutoClose and Salesflare. Uh, but I think in the next days or weeks, uh, AutoClose will also finish, finish off a native integration. Um, so with Zapier, you can trigger it when people click a link or reply to an email. Uh, that's one of the, the action steps that AutoClose has made in Zapier. Um, and then you could trigger in Salesforce that you create all the necessary. Uh, you need to watch out with it a bit though because people might also reply like, stop emailing me, and then it creates a customer as well if you, if you trigger it on reply, of course. Um, that's why personally myself, I prefer to have the this kind of one click method from the Gmail sidebar, uh, to keep things nice and clean. Uh, next, uh, you have that lead in Salesforce. You probably want to pick up immediately. Uh, like I said, uh, because they, the, the, the lead is still hot. Uh, you can either email or call them right now, or of course, uh, talk to them on Facebook messenger or on LinkedIn, whatever works for you. Or if, now is not the moment. Uh, you can create a task in your CRM to do it a few minutes or, or maybe hours later. Um, this could also be automated actually between auto close and Salesforce with Zapier. Uh, you just create a task in the last step linked to the account. Then when you're all set up with that, um, the first thing you'll want to do is qualify the lead um, because that's super important. Is this lead a good one to sell to? Uh, do they have a budget? Are you talking to the right person? Do they really need your product or service? Uh, and do they have a specific timeline uh, in mind or is it just someday? Uh, and that's really important because you don't want to waste your time on leads that are not going to buy uh, because that would be a total and utter waste of your time. So you need to find out whether you're having a good chance to sell to them first. Um, and if you're not talking to the right person, uh, it's not totally lost, of course. Uh, you just ask for the right person and, and you try to get them. So when you've qualified the leads, um, then all you need to do is uh, consistently guide them to a sale. Um, and your sales process might have different steps after qualification and that's where your pipeline comes in. Um, so if you get set up with Salesflare, uh, it has a series of default, default steps in the pipeline. Uh, and the step after qualified uh, is proposal made standard. Uh, but obviously your process might be different. Uh, if it is different, you just head to the settings, you configure the pipelines, and you can customize your pipeline to your exact process. Um, and if you don't know what your steps are yet, uh, it's best that you take uh, time to think about it. Uh, it's, it's a very important exercise because it will help you streamline this process and guide a ton of leads through it at the same time in an organized way. Um, because next to empathy and influencing skills, uh, the, the secret to great sales uh, for, for good salespeople is like process and organization. Um, and if you nail this consistency in your process, you can have consistent sales results. Now, cool, you've, you've handed over the leads, you set up the process. Now, what is the underlying goal of this process and what is your job and, and how do you make it happen? Um, because when you've nailed your process, your only job in each step of the process is basically to effectively guide them uh, to the next step of the process. And if you move to the end of the process, uh, that will mean you end up with a one or a lost deal. Uh, the stage called one in your pipeline is where you want your deals to end up as soon as possible. It's, uh, it's however also really important that you always move deals to lost as soon as you find out that they, you won't be able to win them anytime soon. Um, because if you don't do that, your pipeline will start cluttering and you won't see the trees through the forest anymore. You'll uh, lose control of the process in that case and your uh, nice and consistent sales process will turn into a huge uncontrollable mess. Um, people are asking whether they should see our screen or slides. Um, just answering the question on the slide, we haven't prepared visuals for this. Um, 
But as I said before, if you want to see more of this, um, we have a bunch of videos about this on the um, YouTube channel of Salesflare, um, and where you can watch the separate parts all over again. Uh, or of course, you can uh, you can watch this again afterwards uh, with having Salesflare on the side uh, to figure it all out. Yep. Perfect. Shall I go on? So. Yeah, so um, it's about building that process as a pipeline and then, and then uh, pulling people through it. Uh, now, the only thing you need to make sure is you don't drop the ball. Uh, and um, that's, um, that's first, of course, where your opportunities pipeline comes in. Uh, you can always go there to see what's in which stage and then literally pick up the opportunities and drag them to the next stage if they're there. Um, then in your CRM, the other thing you have is uh, the place where you keep track of all communication with the customers. Like when did you email? When did you call? When did you have a meeting about what, what files did you exchange? Your CRM is basically like your second brain. Um, because if you're having more than 20 leads in your pipeline, uh, your brain might start failing now and then. Um, plus also your colleagues cannot just look into your brains. Um, so that's what you have a CRM for. And in Salesflare, we've automated that second brain uh, because Salesflare picks up all these details straight from where it already is in your emails, in your calendar, in your phone, so it's email tracking, website visits, just all comes together. And, and then a third thing is uh, that you need to keep track of what to do when. Uh, that's also really important um, because the key to being like a true sales master is picking up the communication with the customer at the exact right times. Just like in uh, baseball uh, for the Americans or tennis for the Europeans, uh, timing is key when, when hitting the ball. And for that, there's tasks. Uh, you will find that in, in most CRMs, uh, you have a nice tasks or sometimes they call it activities module. Um, in Salesforce, you can keep track of this on a, on a specific account. And of course, also in the in the general task module where you have one full list of the things you have to do that day. Um, in Salesforce, we also only don't offer manual tasks, uh, but there's also tasks suggested so you don't drop the ball. So we remind you when you got an email and you didn't reply it, or we'll tell you when an, when an account or a customer is going inactive. Um, and you can even set these, these times per stage uh, if you, for instance, like to follow up deals every 10 days uh, when they're qualified or every three days as soon as you made a proposal, that's all possible if you go to the settings and then configure pipelines. Whatever CRM you choose, it's important that the CRM also send you notifications on your phone uh, so you never miss a thing because I, I don't think any of us is uh, behind a computer the full day and customers are there all the time. Uh, that's where notifications come in. Um, and another thing that is really handy, um, I, I'm just, I'm just starting to use auto close myself. So I, I don't know exactly how that works in auto close. Um, but what we have in Salesforce, uh, is also when you're sending emails, like in Gmail, you're sending personal emails, you can see when people open, uh, these emails, when you click on the emails and when they go to your website, uh, so that you, you also know when people are interacting with you and that way you can you can strike when the iron is hot right at that moment you can get to them and say hey uh you, you know um how's it have you been moving with salesflare uh if, if you're selling salesflare obviously uh and then they're like oh that's weird i'm just on your pricing page was thinking about you guys that's the right moment to contact the leads and for that we also built in an uh, additional goodie uh which is a hotness detector which is basically based on all these interactions because people interact a lot with you. Uh, we'll also tell you when there is a certain level of interaction uh, reached and then we will send you a notification about that as well. So you got the process, uh, you got your second brain that doesn't forget anything. You're hitting up your customer at the exact right times. Um, that's already a whole lot of superpowers. Um, and it will dramatically increase your closing ratio from lead to deal. Um, but it's still a hell lot of routine work you're doing because you're, you're sending 
um, all these emails um, and you might like to batch this here and there if you're dealing with the larger volumes. And for that, uh, in Salesforce, we also have email campaigns. Like it's in all the close for outbound emails. Uh, you can send personal follow-up emails in Salesforce in, in batches. And for that, you can uh, filter on the contacts. Um, and then you, when, when, you, when you do that, uh, there's these three dots at the top right uh, that you can use to send an email campaign to this, uh, to this group of people. Or you can just select uh, a bunch of people by clicking their uh, profile pictures, and, and then you you will you will send an email to a bunch of people at once. Uh, if this is becoming a routine too, uh, you can even automate that. Um, if you if you do it on a filter, there's this nice little switch that says um, send it anytime when somebody applies to the filter or something. And then anytime you, you, you tag someone, for instance, with a certain tag, uh, they will get a specific email. Now, when you select a CRM and it's not going to be Salesflare, um, make sure you can do everything from the mobile app, like I said, with the notifications. Um, it's, it's very important that you always have your customers with you uh, because you don't want to open up your laptop every time you, you need to... You contact someone or create a task or set up an email campaign or something. Um, so I'd certainly not uh, get a CRM that doesn't offer this. Um, but if you're all, if you make sure you're all set on all these levels with the process, uh, with your second brain, uh, with hitting the right timing, uh, with scaling with automation from mobile devices and computers and anything, um, I don't think there's any reason anymore why, why you would not consistently win deals with with your awesome product or service, um, you, you'll basically be able to close a maximum of these deals, these leads you create with, with auto close. Um, and I think in the next question, we'll go into how then the flow from auto close, from a prospecting tool to a CRM like Salesflare um, can go. I see a lot of people asking uh, whether they can see the tools working. Yeah. Um, maybe we could do another webinar. Uh, we can send you uh, videos uh, to YouTube. It's just that we don't have a lot of time right now uh, and we didn't have this prepared. Um, but I guess Sean and I can look what we can do for you guys. Yeah. What I'll, what I'll, what I'll do actually for question number three, I'll just quickly go into, into auto close quickly because um, it looks like a lot of people are, are asking. So let me just see if I can get yeah. auto close here quickly. That would be awesome. And just go into here. Let me go, and I'll kind of answer the question while we're inside auto close, so people can just see quickly. It looks like people want to see how everything actually works here. Do you have a Salesforce account already, uh, Sean? Um, I not yet. I I I think someone on my team does. I don't think I have it on me right. Now. <laughs> but. Let's just, um, so, you know, how should the flow work? I'm just going to go to kind of a, a uh, you know, maybe I'll just go to, uh, I'll start a campaign quickly here and kind of show you how that would work. Um, just gonna build it. So I'm going to go right to uh, to where the campaigns and the, 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 the cadences are. So I'm just going to call this sales flare webinar. As you can see, it's four simple steps. And let me just go here, go next step. Um, I'll just choose a quick, a quick little date from the database here, just to move to the next step. Salespeople, I'm going to do salespeople in Arkansas. Just click next step. Okay, here we go. So this is, I'm just going to kind of show you guys like a cool template and what I would use and how I would kind of put the flow into, um, into Salesforce. So here's, for example, you know, the follow-ups that I did. Um, and, and, and just a quick email that I put together, for example, you know, here I say, um, you know, in the first six seconds, you want to kind of tell the client initial in your initial email, you know, what your, your company does. So auto close allows sales teams to save 4.5 million uh, hours per day targeting, you know, immediately get prospect. But what the key here is my call to action is, is actually Calendly. And what I would do there is I would make the flow go from this tool. So if somebody reads this email, and clicks on my calendar and books it, I would have that put into my CRM. Um, and the reason why that goes into my CRM is we would have a column saying, um, for example, you know, calendly invitations or 
you know, scheduled demos, for example. And then what I would do is anyone that clicks in this link and fills out that link and books a one-on-one -on -one demo with me would be put there. So if I ever have to go back or have to make notes um, or want to put something that we spoke on the phone and this was our conversation, I'll implement that all into my CRM in under that contact. So, you know, as you can see, my follow-ups, um, I had five here. As I mentioned earlier, you want to have eight to 12, but I kind of strategically do it that, you know, three days from now, you know, I have just checking as we close out the week. So we all know Friday is going to be, you know, the end of the week. So you want to personalize that outreach right here and put your call to action. Now, if somebody is, does not click your calendar link and, you know, uh, replies to your email, you know, you know, for example, here at AutoClose, we're getting hundreds and hundreds of replies from all our different campaigns daily. We've done over 575 demos in our first three months. But we want all that tracked in our CRM. And the reason why is for me to remember all the replies or forget one or two, they'll probably slip through the cracks. Having that CRM integrated with your outreach tool like AutoClose makes everything in one place. So you can go to one place in your CRM, you can see who replied, when they replied, what time they replied, um, all through here. So as you can see, I, I kind of, you know, we don't have much time today, but you know, I, I strategically plan my outreach here. So that was on a Friday. This would be on a Monday as we kick off the week. And then I would go in with the hard close at the end. You know, I've sent a few emails now. Would you mind letting me know if I'm missing the mark here? Um, update that sequence. And then literally, you know, within seconds, I can send all that right from auto close, preview those recipients right here, but have all this synced with your CRM. So you can actually pull the contacts from your CRM um, into, into auto close as well, and then pick and choose and create campaigns. So the flow is very important um, to be able to capture, you know, new leads. And if those new leads are coming from email, you know, they could be coming from word of mouth, outbound sales, web forms, etc. But you want to make sure that they're all synced with your CRM and in your CRM process so that you can convert those leads into a close with a K. Um, so that's kind of what I want to show you quickly, how the, the flow would work. Um, but the, the, the key here is to make sure you have your cadences set up, your call to action set up, and what you want to push to that CRM in place. Yeah. So, Let me pick up a few questions perhaps or? Yeah, push up a few questions and I'm just going to go over yeah. to you. And get I see Nick, Nicholas is asking, uh, how is AutoClose different from MailChimp? Uh, MailChimp is an email marketing uh, tool, uh, which basically is built for newsletters. Um, and what you'll see also uh, is that MailChimp very easily goes to the promotions uh, tab in Gmail um, because it's been used for promotions all the time while AutoClose actually sends from your mailbox and it looks totally personal, uh, nobody will find out that it's, that it's automated. Um, uh, second thing from Mike, uh, Mike says, is there a way to automatically send people a campaign in AutoClose from Salesforce rather than having to export a CSV file and upload? That would be helpful. Perhaps it could be, this could be done once someone moves to a different stage of a pipeline in Salesforce or if they were tagged. That actually, uh, you could, you could uh, move them to AutoClose, but you don't have to because as I explained, uh, this is something you could do in Salesforce itself with the campaign feature. Um, I think what you've seen, just what Sean showed, is that AutoClose is a great tool for outbound sales uh, with a built-in database actually. Um, but if you, if you're looking to do, um, like email campaigns as a sort of follow-up, you can do that in Salesforce itself. Um, then Mitch says, how many campaigns can I run at the same time? And can I run them from different email addresses that I don't know, Sean? Yeah. So you could run as many campaigns as you want at the same time. Your only restriction is the number of emails you can actually send from your email provider. Because as he mentioned, we aren't the MailChimp. We're not sending from the MailChimp servers. They're all run from your Gmail, Outlook, Office 365, GoDaddy, etc. cetera. Um, so that would answer. And, and you could use different email addresses because you can add team members in AutoClose. So what a lot of our clients do is they're actually having four emails going out, but all being forwarded back to one account. So they're getting quadruple the amount of leads in their inbox. Uh, Rocco's asking for the cost of AutoClose. Guys, in about five minutes, 
both of us are going to have a, a, a free 14-day trial that you guys can actually try out both sales flare on auto close. So stay tuned for that. Um, but let's just continue on with the presentation. Um, and we're going to have um, um, your own yeah. go with the, the question four here before we get to the, uh, the offer we're providing everyone. Yeah, let me quickly answer that. So what data should be synced? Uh, there's probably three types of data. Um, and that answers one of the questions I just saw uh, of Tom Irby. Uh, the first uh, thing is emails. Uh, if you're using AutoClose and Salesforce, you don't need to do anything else. Uh, AutoClose sends with G Suite or Gmail and on Office 365. And these emails end up in your send folder and Salesforce will pick them up automatically uh, because Salesforce connects to Gmail and Office 365. Uh, if you just have the account there, it will be in the timeline. Done. Um, if you're using a CRM that is not syncing emails and relies on something like a BCC email address, Indeed, you can use that. I think you can uh, BCC from, uh, from AutoClose. Uh, that might fail when the customer doesn't exist yet uh, in some systems. Um, in Salesflare, we, we don't do it that way, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter when you create the, the account. Uh, it will always show up. Um, then about, uh, well, the second thing you should um, think is con contact and company data. Um, you could do that when someone books something um, uh, using Calendly, uh, like, like Sean just showed, uh, or you could do it when someone replies to your email. Uh, you can set that, that up with Zapier very easily right now, and soon also the native integration between Autocodes and Salesforce. Um, and then third, uh, there's tracking data. When you send uh, these campaigns from Autocodes, um, it's nice also to track the email clicks uh, in, in your CRM as well. And with Salesflare, um, you can use Salesflare link tracking in other emails than Salesflare emails. Uh, you just head to the settings and then applications and integrations. Uh, and if you scroll down a bit, you will see email link tracking. If you use the email link tracking with the identification, so passing the, the email address also in the link, then basically anyone, any, anytime someone clicks on, an, on an, uh, a link in an, in an autoclose email, uh, he or she will be identified. The click will show in the Salesforce timeline. And even if they then go to the website and you have the, the Salesforce web tracking on your website, you will also see what pages they look at for how long, all those kind of things. Um, so those are the three things that, um, that I think you should think. Um, the, it's, it's between AutoClose and Salesforce, it's very easy. Um, you just, uh, part of it is, is arranged by Gmail or Office 365 itself. Um, then you can set up a small Zapier integration. Uh, and if you use the email, email link tracking from Salesforce, then, then that is uh, taken care of as well. The two tools basically work together as one. Per perfect. I think we have one more question before we go to the offer. Uh, what's the difference between Salesflare and Streak? Difference between Salesforce and Streak, oh, there's, there's of course many differences. Um, Streak is a CRM built uh, a few years before Salesforce. Uh, I personally like it. I, I used to use it for, for a bit uh, before we had Salesforce. Um, it's fully built into your uh, Gmail. Um, the main difference is probably that you can use uh, Salesforce outside of Gmail as well. Um, uh, Salesforce has uh, web tracking. Uh, Salesforce has much more mobile support. Um, Salesforce has much more automation, not just on the email side, but also uh, on the calendar side, on pooling and social data, all these kind of things. Um, so yeah, that's probably the differences in short. Perfect. Um, so let's just go here. I'm gonna have, um Veg post these in the, in, the, in the chat right now. Um, these are just what we're going to offer. Um, I'll tell you what AutoClose is offering, and then I'll, you, can, you can hear what sales are. Yeah. We're going to offer, AutoClose is going to offer, if you use this link right here um, that Ved is currently putting in the chat box, we are going to offer a free 14-day trial to use AutoClose, start doing some campaigns. And then after that, um, our current price, which is going up in about two weeks, is... 
$29.99 per month. But what we're going to do is give you two accounts for the price of one if you have paid for your first month by the end of this month. So by June 30th, you would have had to pay for after your 14-day trial, um, and then you will get an extra account added inside your account. So um, what I would do is sign up for a free 14-day trial, test it out. Um, we have live support. Ask us any questions, and that's the special offer we're going to be offering everyone today. And I'll let you guys talk about Salesflare now. Yeah, so with Salesflare, you can also use that link or uh, when you're on a trial already, uh, you can just use, uh, when, you're, when you're checking out, you use the, the code AUTOFLARE, like it says in the URL. And what you'll get is uh, also first the 14-day free trial and after that, um, you'll get 50% off for six months okay. uh, for half a year. And, and this will all be by the end of the month as well um, for your deal? Yeah, so uh, make sure you, you uh, subscribe. Uh, that means check out uh, and pay before the end of the month uh, because then the discounts will expire. Perfect. So, um, you know, these are very generous offers. Um, uh, Dietmar's asked about affiliate deals and agency plans. I guess probably the best thing is you have our email address. Reach out to each of us personally um, and we can discuss the affiliates offline. Um, so what I would do is, um, you know, obviously take advantage of these 14 day trials. Um, you know, you have, a, you have CRM and a sales automation. You're getting very, very generous offers by both of us. Um, and obviously if there's any questions you have about um, the integration stuff, we'll get to that um, um, obviously with you guys on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, shall we go through some questions or? Uh, well, I think we're almost at the top of the hour here. Um, Rocco yeah. says, what does a second account do for us, meaning the second user? Okay, so basically you can have a team. So some of our sales teams have 10 people, 100 people, or one person. If you have more than one person, you want to sign up for AutoClose under a team. So that would be more like a, you know, a sales manager with two sales reps under them. You can sign up three people under your team. Tom, will these links be discontinued, distributed, discontinued or be emailed to us? Um, you know what we will do? Um, we'll actually send an email to everybody with these, with both these links, with the, the deadline, um, and let you guys know at the end of the month um, that they are no longer um, active. Okay, that's, that's the veteran saying discontinued. The integration between the tools is live now. Um, I believe, is, is it live with Zapier yet or not yet? Uh, life at Zapier, yes. Uh, the I don't think uh, you guys uh, finished the integration already. Okay. I've been talking to your colleague a bit earlier, and he's still working on it. So. Okay, perfect. Um, this this is a, li a link to the videos uh, as asked by uh, Ray uh, to our. Um, is is that link? Of, is there a link still? The, the period between the R and the E, or is that not supposed to be there? Which link? The link that you just posted has a, a period between the R and the E. Yeah, that's that's intentional. Oh, okay, perfect. That, that's a domain, sales, salesflaw.re, salesflare. Okay. Um, I saw a question a bit higher of Michael. Yeah, I, um, Michael and I will, uh, will talk offline. I spoke to Michael. Yeah, but this is a question for me. A um, uh, question is how you can trigger uh, email campaign. Oh, it's uh, Mike, actually. Uh, um, uh, email campaigns based on the stage uh, that of the opportunity linked to the contact uh, that actually is coming uh, soon uh, you can do it now based on tags uh, but we'll be releasing a whole new filtering system in the next few weeks uh, and at that moment you will be trigger be able to trigger emails based on anything uh, literally anything yeah it looks like John had a question. Is the big database of contacts included in the product? No. The database is an add-on service that we, we provide. Um, however, what I will do is if you are interested in the database included in AutoClose after your 14-day trial, just let me know that you came to the SalesFlare webinar and I will offer you a special, special discount on our pricing. Um, do either Salesflare or AutoClose do SMS? Um, AutoClose does not currently do SMS. We are looking into it, but we don't have that on the roadmap. Salesflare? 
uh, we might do it, but we, we haven't planned it yet, so I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, promise anything. Okay, so as of right now, guys, we do not, both have, do not have SMS. Um, both are in talks with our development team to have that um, done. Any way to change from address to articles, your earlier tip? Oh, no, okay. So, um, is your database US contacts only? Yes, we only have US contacts. Um, that's all we have. The database is only US and it's all B2B. We have no free email domains. There's no Gmail, Yahoo emails. Everyone is B2B. Everyone is US only. Um, Karen's asking a discount for the database. Uh, Karen, reach out to me. Um, you have my email, sean at autoclose.com, and we can discuss pricing for the database. Any plans to add Mexico? No plans to add Mexico as of right now, Sherry. Okay, uh, it looks like we're at the top of the hour almost. Um, any final words um, from the I see part? someone asking uh, whether um, webinar is recorded. Yes, it's recorded and you will get it. Yeah, we'll send an email with uh, the email. Yeah. Everyone will get a recording of the webinar as well as these links. Um, as well as both um, of our contact information. Sherry, happy auto closing working well. Thank you, thank you, Jeffrey. Okay. Question from oh yeah, we can we can we can uh, answer other questions if uh, if you have other questions for Salesflare, uh, you can contact support at salesflare.com or just hit us up on the on the chat on the website or in the app. Uh, then we're happy to help you there. Perfect. Well, I guess uh, I want to say thank you um, to Salesflare for, for joining us um, and thank you uh, to your own. Um, there was a lot of great questions, a big, huge turnout. Thank you, everyone who is a, a Salesflare user or an AutoClose user. Um, from my end, I, you know, obviously I appreciate everything, all the feedback and everything you guys have done. Um, so thank you. And uh, all the same from my side. A big thank you to all of you as well. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, and if you have any questions, um, we will send that email out with the recording and all contact information um, um, later on today. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.